If you're playing Fallout 4 for PC, you really owe it to yourself to install and use mods. Now, they might seem a little intimidating if you've ever done the manual installation for mods. It can be a little tedious, but the kind folks over at the Nexus Mods website have developed the Nexus Mod Manager. There's a link to the download at the top of the page. It's very easy to find. Once that software is installed, if you're hunting for mods, they make it very easy for you. And I'm going to show you an example today. Just scrolling through the top files, let's say you want to see the actual dialogue spoken by your character. Well, there's a mod for that, and it replaces the very truncated and sometimes quite inaccurate dialogue prompts that are in the vanilla version of Fallout 4. If you go to the mod page, you'll notice that there's a button specifically for the Nexus Mod Manager download. And what that does, it actually launches the application, the Mod Manager itself. You may get the prompt seen here. Just click Launch Application. All it's trying to do is load the Nexus Mod Manager. If you're doing this for the first time, you will need to input your Nexus uh, Mods website login and username down at the bottom left. Just click on and input the information. But once you're logged in, there's a little download progress thing at the bottom. Here it is, and it shows the progress of the download. It's more useful if you have a very long download. This one was quite small. And the file directory you're seeing looks a lot like a Windows directory. It's very detailed, and while it might be a little off-putting initially, it's there for a reason. It's an excellent way to categorize and manage and keep an overview of what mods rather you have installed in your game. I only have a few here at the moment, but you'll notice that there are large green checkboxes by the mods that are active. Once you've downloaded the mod, you need to highlight it and then move your mouse up to the top left to the green checkbox, and that activates the mod. This particular mod actually has some options. Not all of them do, this one does. And this controls which portion of the mod that you've downloaded is installed and applied to your game. Now this can come in many forms. In this thing, it's really just asking the format you want the dialogue presented in. And so I've made my choice. I've installed it. And at this point, I'm ready to go. There's a launch button on the top left of the software that will launch the Fallout 4 launcher. And from there, you can jump into the game. And once you're in, the mod should be activated. So that's all there is to it. The Mod Manager is an excellent piece of software. It's free, it's quick to download, and it seems perfectly safe to use. And so it's the best solution not only for installing the mods and making sure that they work properly, but also for organizing and keeping track of which ones you're using. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your mods.